Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to give you guys my top five bag gloves for 2021, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm going to give you guys my top five bag gloves for 2021. I decided to go with top five rather than top 10, just not to overcomplicate things, especially for uh, the bag glove segment. So I decided to go with top five. From there, you guys can choose to see if any of those gloves are the right pick for you. Uh, with that being said, this is going to be gloves that are designed to be only used on the bag and technically you could use sparring gloves or even training gloves which is a combination or a hybrid between a train uh, a bag and a sparring glove to hit the bag with but these gloves i'm going to mention in this video are going to be gloves designed by the company to use only on bags and that includes bag mitts as well um, one other thing i want to mention is that uh, like i said in the top 10 uh, boxing glove uh, video is that companies have come a long way in, in recent years. There's been a lot of excellent glove models that have been coming out um, and more companies, smaller companies that you've never heard of that are starting to come out and really, you know, create awesome boxing gear, gloves and products. So it's, it's you made, made it a lot, I wouldn't say a lot harder, but it's really made the margin uh, and kind of really closed the gap between the companies that we're used to seeing doing so well, obviously like Winnie and Grant and all those other companies. And you've really seen uh, the gap uh, being closed by a lot more different companies as well as more models that are being brought out by existing companies. So without further ado, here's my top five. Coming in at number five is going to be the winning SB2000 bag gloves or bag mitts, if you want to call it that. Uh, these retail for $110. It's a one size fits all with an elastic wrist closure. Um, I believe they come in four or different color schemes. I believe they have a red, white, blue, and, and uh, black, which is Pretty much their common theme with winning gloves and just like all winning products they have excellent quality and craftsmanship it does use synthetic leather which uh, helps save on weight but i have no issues with durability uh, one nice thing about these bag gloves is they're kind of molded uh, after the old school style of, of bag gloves or bag mitts where you have one singular finger pocket for your four fingers and then you also have an exposed thumb so what that allows you to do is really to make a nice tight fist a natural fist uh, in your glove and you have about I'd say half inch to three quarter inch layer of foam padding over your knuckles So you're able to punch with the correct form make a nice tight fist Which also helps strengthen your hand as well as your forearm and your bones and your forearm as well One thing you have do have to be aware as if aware of is if you do have hand injuries wrist injuries If you need something more protective, these are probably not the best bag gloves for you because um, there's not a lot of protection in them. You don't have any really any wrist support other than that elastic closure and just about a half inch to three quarter inch of padding over your knuckles. But however, if you don't have any issues, they make for excellent bag gloves. You get excellent pop out of them, great feedback out of them. And overall, I really love the SB2000. So coming in at number five are gonna be the winning SB2000s. Coming in at number four is gonna be the Rival Guerrero HDEF bag gloves. Now. There's two versions of the Guerrero bag gloves. There's gonna be the HDEF, which is my preferred version, which is basically a foam bag glove that has a piece of EVA laminated to the inside leather. Uh, then there's the SFF version, which uses a softer polyurethane style foam. Gives it a little bit more of a broken, softer feel, a little bit more of a puncher style glove where you can really sink your knuckles in. But I like the HDEF because I feel you get a little bit more bang out of it and a little bit more protection because of that EVA layer. Now the HDEF or and the SFF both retail for $179. You can get them multiple colors uh, from the Rival website. And this is a glove that's an all-around great bag glove, meaning that you get excellent pop, good amount of protection, and the wrist support is phenomenal. They use that V wrist lock technology, uh, which ratchets down. So basically, essentially, the, the wrist lock technology has a nylon strap that goes over and a buckle that crisscrosses. So not only are you getting the support below the hinge point in your wrist, but you're also getting it kind of right here above. So it really locks in your hand. Uh, what I really love about the Grail gloves is they're more compact. They're not overly bulky. Um, I love the colors that they offer, really nice designs. However, in the recent couple of months and even the recent year, I've 
I've seen and also heard of quality control issues with some of Rival's products. The stitching being off, I've also seen, you know, stitching being off, but also placement of the actual Velcro strap was on, even on one glove and not symmetrical to the other. Um, so QC quality control issues have definitely been an issue, especially for a glove at $179. You would expect the glove to be absolutely perfect. Uh, but outside of that, I love the way they look. You get excellent pop feedback performance. Uh, the HDEF model, which is my favorite, which I'm mentioning in this video, I lo really love that the sound that you get out of it. A good amount of feedback and also does a pretty good job of absorbing shock as well. Uh, thumb feels great on it. Um, I have no issues with the actual hand ergonomics. It has a really nice broken in feel. Uh, the only thing I would say is that's a drawback would be uh, the quality issues that I've seen that Rival has had with some of their gloves in the recent months and years. So coming in at number four is going to be the Rival Guerrero HDEF bag gloves. Coming in at number three is going to be the Tidal Boxing Gerald World B2T bag gloves. Now these retail for $139. They're full genuine leather construction. Uh, I believe they're made in Pakistan, um, come in multiple different colors as well as four different sizes from small, medium, large to XL, um, and are probably Tidal Boxing's most popular, if not one of the most popular gloves that they sell for, for a lot of great reasons. And these things are built like tanks. They're, they're really nice quality. I, I love the construction on them. Um, and if you're looking for maximum shock absorption of your knuckle, excellent wrist support. Uh, these gloves are definitely for you. Um, they use multi-layer foam padding as well as a gel layer of padding over the knuckle. So you can throw complete nukes on the heavy bag and these things just take a beating um, and you don't feel any kind of discomfort in your knuckles or your wrist. The wrist support is really nice. It uses a D-ring wrist closure so you really lock your wrist in uh, with these gloves. Nice deep finger compartment, excellent thumb. So overall a really comfortable glove when you slide your hand in there. You can definitely tell that the hang ergonomics are on point. Uh, but these are definitely excellent gloves that are, to me, are again built like tanks. Uh, for those of you that are looking for a bag glove that you want some just maximum protection um, that you can bang on the bag and not have any worries uh, on creating any injuries with your hands uh, and just being comfortable going to work on the bag. So, coming in at number three is going to be the Tidal Boxing Gel World B2T bag gloves. Coming in at number two is going to be the Phenom Boxing Elite XRT 220S bag gloves. Now this bag glove retails for once you convert it to US dollars to, to about 240 US dollars. So they're definitely more on the expensive side. These bag gloves have really been compared to the Rival Guerrero uh, IntelliShock bag gloves because they look really similar to them. Um, but with that being said, I feel that Phenom has a better quality product, meaning that the fit and finish and the overall quality of the gloves to me are better than the rival counterparts. Uh, you can get this glove in two different color schemes of black and red as well as a white and gold and three different uh, sizes. They uh, have a, it's called a small, medium, a large XL and then they have a double XL. So just depending on your hand size, you can choose from those three different sizes, two color schemes to choose from. Now, this particular glove uses a very similar type of um, padding system to where they've used a multi-layer foam padding except they have a layer of hardened padding. So when you land on the bag, it's supposed to harden. I believe they call it XRD and um, you know, Rivals version is called D3O. Uh, to me, it's a little bit gimmicky. It does give you more of a bang when you hit the bag. As far as shock absorption goes, I didn't really notice much of a difference in terms of being able to, to kind of absorb shock. I did notice that it gave you a little bit more of a nice popping sensation when you land on the bag, but nonetheless, uh, a really nice feel, uh, good protection. It's a really well-balanced bag glove. Uh, the big, big difference between this and the rival counterpart is that it uses a standard uh, wraparound Velcro closure. It doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, wrist lock system on this. So it gives you a pretty good wrist support. Maybe not as good as rivals, uh, but excellent hand ergonomics. You slide your hand in there. It's really comfortable. Excellent liner. The gloves are made in Pakistan, full genuine leather construction. Um, excellent thumb. Um, they're pretty compact too. They're not overly bulky gloves, which I like as well. So I'm a big fan of more streamlined, slimmer fitting gloves. Not overly tight, but slim fitting gloves. I'd say the big drawback with these is gonna be the price coming in at $240. They're definitely expensive, kind of com comparable to the rival counterpart gloves, uh, but a little bit more on the high side. But outside of the cost of the gloves, I definitely love the way they look, the design, the comfort, uh, overall solid protection, solid wrist support. 
um, and overall a really good bag glove. So coming in at number two, it's gonna be the Phenom XRT 220S bag gloves. Coming in at number one is gonna be the Rival RB50 bag gloves. These retail for only $69. You get in two different color schemes, all white and black. Uh, four different sizes, small, medium, large, XL. These are made in Pakistan. They're full genuine leather construction. And to me are the best bag gloves as far as a great bang for the buck and an overall performer. Um, it, to me, combines both the old school and the new school and kind of puts them together to make an excellent overall bag glove. Um, you have an excellent hand positioning with it. You can put your hand in there. It has a really nice broken in feel with a mesh palm. It also has a detached thumb. So now the fact that we're using this only for bag work, the detached thumb is really important. The fact that you're really able to really make a nice tight fist, just like the winning SB2000s, that you're able to really make a, a proper fist with this glove, land on those two front knuckles, but you also have the IntelliShock D3O padding, again, which gives you a little bit more pop, a little extra layer over the multi-layer foam padding. So you're getting a layer of protection that you're, you typically won't in, a, I guess, a standard bag knit. But with this, you're getting that extra layer. So you're getting more shock absorption. And then you also have the tapered ergo strap that goes around the wrist, which I really like as well. Very similar to their wrist lock technology, except it's one large leather strap. And it kind of starts off higher up here and then kind of, kind of tapers down low. Again, the whole premise and idea behind that is to really lock in your wrist. And then it has the, the Velcro strap that goes on the back. What I really love about these gloves, aside from the fact that they're affordable, they're only $69, is that they, they work excellent. They work phenomenally for bag work. I mean, if you have a hand injury, if you don't, you can make an excellent fist with them. You get a great pop out of them. Um, they lasted really long for me. Obviously, they're full genuine like leather construction. The only drawback I would say is the stitching around the D3O and the knuckle area starts to, kind of, starts to fray over time. Um, and again, lately, we've been seeing a little bit more QC issues with some of Rival's products, at least that I've seen. Um, but outside of that, man, they're excellent bag gloves. Um, I've yet to find one that I like more than the RB50s. I'm sure eventually something will probably overtake it uh, coming down the road. You never know. But right now, my number one is going to be the Rival RB50s. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I always like great feedback. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with this list. I'm all ears for it, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.